If you've been researching hamsters, you've probably heard of the famous multi-chamber hideout. This is a hideout specifically designed to replicate the chambers a hamster would make in their burrows. These hides allow your hamster to dig burrows from them and then use some of the chambers for sleeping, maybe one for food, and sometimes one for a bathroom. These hideouts may be pricey to some with an average cost of 30 US dollars. That's $50 in Canadian dollars. Or perhaps your hamster is a prolific chewer or peer and you really just don't want to risk ruining a nice expensive wooden hideout like that. Well, today I'll be showing you how to make your own multi-chamber hide for under $5. All you're going to need is some cardboard, scissors, or a box cutter and a ruler plus pencil for marking everything out. The measurements I'll be using specifically will fit a Syrian hamster or smaller. I start out by drawing all of my pieces onto the cardboard and in total, we're gonna end up with 10 pieces. Then I get to work cutting them out very carefully. Now, of course, this hideout can be totally customizable and you don't have to follow exactly what I do. If you want, you can make the shape completely different if you wanted an L hideout instead of a square or rectangle hideout. You can make as many or as little chambers as you want. I've personally gone for a six chamber design and all of my entry holes are 2.7 inches wide. So in total, we're gonna end up with two, four inch by 11.5 inch width panels to four inch by 11 inch outer width panels, three four inch by 5.5 inch inner square panels, two four inch by 17 inch outer length panels, and one 17 inch by 11 inch lid. Now it's time to start piecing it together. Today, we're gonna to be using the slotting method. That way, you don't have to use any tools or glue. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take your pieces and measure them in half. You're gonna to wanna to mark a line to the half point. So for me, I'm going to make a line at two inches, and then we're gonna cut that line and make it a small slot. Do this to all four pieces, and then slot them together, and you've got a base hideout. Once we've done that, we're gonna want to put in our chambers. This is also gonna require the slotting method. So taking our inner panels, we will measure exactly where we want them and where to cut our other slots out. Once you've got all of that figured out, all you have to do is put the lid on it and there you have it a very budget-friendly hideout that will give your hamster enrichment and you won't have to worry about it getting peed on or chewed on because you can easily make more. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget if you enjoyed the video to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!